There are two clear areas once logged into Teams. There's the purple bar, which is the me space. Students can clearly see activity that has taken place in any of their classes. And this is identifiable by a red notification circle. And as you can see, this student has got two. The white space is the we space. And this is a collaboration space for all students and their teachers in all of their classes. As you can see, classes are identifiable by a class code. There is a class team for each lesson they have timetable during the week. Here in the Wii space, you can also see that the activity notification identifies the class where the activity has taken place. For the purpose of this webinar, I have created a demo class to show the key features of Microsoft Teams that Furnace Academy teachers will be using with their students. Once opened, you can see a list of channels on the left hand side. I have created English Maths and Science channels for this demonstration. However, channels will be for key subject areas within individual lessons. You will also see a list of tabs at the top of the screen. Tabs will appear in each channel. To demonstrate this, I will enter the Maths channel. Files is an important tab. Teachers will store useful information specific to the channel in here. As you can see, there are vision guides and knowledge organisers which students can access to support their learning. Teachers can also add tabs with links to useful resources. Here in the Maths channel, I have added Mathletics and Hegarty Maths. These are resources frequently used in lessons. Here in the Pause tabs, we can see that the teachers have given the students some praise for their contribution in class. Students can also use Pause to communicate with their teachers. Now we will return to the me space purple bar and we will have a look at assignments. This is where students will find any homework tasks that have been set by their teachers in any of their classes. New homework is listed under assigned and any homework which has been completed and handed in to their teachers will appear here. This piece of homework is for our webinar demo class and tomorrow is the handing in deadline. Clicking on the homework allows you to see the instructions provided by the teacher and the attached documents students will need to complete the task. Students can open and edit the document in Teams following any instructions that the teacher has given. Once complete, they will close the document which will automatically save. To hand in their homework, they need to select this button here, which clearly states hand in. Once they have done this, the teacher will receive a notification to say the student has completed their homework. Teachers will mark and provide feedback to students. And if improvements to the homework are required, students can undo hand in. Reopen the homework and edit the document. Once finished, the student will close the document in the same way. It saves automatically and then hand in the assignment again. To enter a live lesson, students will need to click on the purple join button. There are three important things students must do before entering their lessons. One, mute the microphone and they can do that here. Two, make sure their speakers are on. And three, turn on their camera. Students can change the background if they wish to keep their surroundings private. They can do this by clicking on this icon and selecting an image. Once these three tasks are complete, they can join the lesson. If students wish to ask their teacher a question during the lesson, they can raise their hand to get the teacher's attention using this icon here. As you can see, the teacher will get a notification to tell them that a student wishes to speak. Alternatively, they can type a question in the chat bar function, which you can find clicking on this icon here. Students can type their questions and the teacher will be able to read it and respond appropriately.